It's not us who they're gonna test. But what? No, because me and Abon are gonna go to war today. I can feel it. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. He has to go and beef yeah. everyone on AliExpress then. He has to go and beef <laughs> everyone on Alibaba because at this point. He's doing a lot of talking, then all of a sudden tweets aren't loading right now. I pop and subscribe because everyone is fake in this world. I'd rather... And do you know what breaks my head? Hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of the Let Me Land podcast. It's your hostess with the most, the Risha T. And today we have got. Teach. Avena. Catherine. Gabrielle. Everyone just oh did one God. massive pause. <laughs> what is <laughs> <my name? laughs> Anyway, how's everyone doing? I'm good. Um, I'm trying to watch the football at the same time, but I'm good. Jeez, listen, 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 listen. Don't even play games with me today. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't even mm-hmm. play games with me today. Because this guy mm-hmm. can't multitask for shit. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can. So the first topic is, yeah, I saw this thing on Twitter and it was basically talking about how they said that men have no value. Now, before anyone starts coming for me saying, oh my God, you hate men, you bash men all the time. This is what someone said on Twitter. <laughs> so everyone listen carefully. So the guy said, the reason men are so obsessed with achievement is because no one gives a fuck about men, including the majority of men. The closest you can get as a man is being cared about because you're useful. So other than your role as a provider, you're not loved for who you are, but what you can do. And he basically said that you that true love of a man is rare. He then said, men have no actual value. Women are, and children are valued just because they exist. This is why boyhood and manhood is especially hard for like in the transition because they're no longer loved simply for existing their worthiness has to be proved otherwise they're nothing and no one cares women preserve their value men create it that's why the average woman is more valuable than the average man especially in society where everyone favors women over men this is why apparently he said feminist arguments about inequality are rubbish they only focus on the winners (laughs) so success isn't a lifestyle wait hold on for abadar (laughs) (laughs) success isn't a lifestyle choice for men it's a matter of life and death it's a lifestyle choice for women a woman who who fails at academics or business can just give up and become a mother she's still wanted and for who she is who's interested in a loser man nobody so of course men will always (laughs) so of course men will always outdo women at the high end of society because they have to but on the flip side to that men don't make it men who don't make it aren't even given like the basic basic level of compassion or human decency they just seem they just seem invisible and then everyone mocks them because of it i can hear that still i can't lie there's a lot there's a that guy yeah yeah he said a lot i can't lie but what we can basically understand is that men have no actual value other than being successful in life yeah i can hear that why because like the first thing people are always going to ask, yeah, a man is, what do you do? Like, and if you don't have this, if you don't have substance to a certain extent, they're just going to look at you like, what? Oh. <laughs> like, <sighs> like, imagine man, imagine man meeting Abner, yeah, and saying, oh my Abner, god, no, nah, everyone wants imagine, to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, no, nah, because me and Abner are going to go to war today. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, yeah. Me, me and Abner now, and I like mm-hmm. Abner. Ah, oh, like obviously, like I lost my job like three years ago. Don't know what I want to do. So really and truly, I just really stay home and just chill with the man. sometimes every now and then, like, um, and I work and I work from time mm-hmm. to time at like an agency or something. But apart from that, like, and yeah, like obviously, man still lives at home. I don't really want to leave. Abner's gonna walk out the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. That is not just subjective Thank to you. men. Because if a girl said that to you, I would be like, yeah. okay, cool, yeah. But, but, if she now said, oh, all of that, and, oh, man got pregnant young and had the baby, it wasn't like, oh, okay, cool. What, so you're saying that she'll mm. still be valued <laughs> just because she's a woman because she had a baby? Yeah, like, they'll see it as, oh, okay, I get it. No, but, <laughs> but then, yeah, even with boys that have babies, yeah, they move dumb. So it's kind of like, your value, like, I feel like your value as a father is still important, but it's just like, I don't know, maybe it's just the way mm. society is set up, yeah. Society is always... But you know what it is, yeah? Men are providers. What? Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. It's set up like that. I mean, yeah, but I'm so sorry. But why would you even want to approach a woman and say that all you do is stay at home? You should even find shame in yourself. <laughs> no, I know. But obviously, but now if you come and lie now and get caught out in the lie, this isn't going to work. Why you shouldn't even have to lie? Why are you not looking for a job? Exactly, three years. Work... <laughs> so he picks and chooses when he works. Yeah. So this is why I should leave my father's house to enter for someone who who works from time to time. No, because you know, age, age, no, because age, agency work is not is not consistent. But then, then find a proper job. Can I get a real job? Brother, I just said he couldn't find nothing. He doesn't really know. Yeah, but he wasn't he looking hard. He doesn't really know what he wants to be. Next. No, it's been three years. <laughs> okay, three no, years. I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie. Maybe maybe three years was a stretch. I should have said like a year. But then the I thing is, yeah. As I said, I've been not three years is said, mad stuff. Remember when I said the thing about um you, why are you not motivated? Because then there's a difference. Because T, you described it as cool, the guy's just sitting at home, he's just um, time I'm sit- chilling with my boys. I'm so sorry, what kind of rubbish is that? No, nah, okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, nah, okay, I read it, it all wrong. wrong. I read it. I read it all wrong. No, because he said because the guy was at like how men create their. But value. regardless, I'm not gonna lie though. But you see the thing where you said about the value, yeah? yeah. In this life, like you have to make yourself value. That's the thing. I'm. Uh, I feel like his, his argument is stupid because the same way women. Could... So now some of the points he some of the points he made, I, I get, and like, I understand that. Like, that I just get. Like what? I'm not gonna explain this. I need to just so I don't say the wrong thing. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's Gabby? I'm here. What do you have to oh. say on this, Gabby? Yeah, yeah, go on, Gabby. Um, I understand. I understand Gabby, Gabby, time. Gabby didn't understand what I said. No, I didn't. I didn't. No. <laughs> Gabby didn't understand what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. In, no, in the guys, in the guys, no, no, in the guys, no, tweet, yeah. Fun. No, the guy's tweet, like, yeah. was that was that a, was that a tweet? It was like a thread. Oh, okay. I gonna say that was a long tweet. No, yeah, it was a thread. But the thread thing, like, some of the points he's making are valid, and some of them aren't really valid. Like what? Like, I'm trying to remember everything that you said because that was very long. Um, yeah, same. Um, 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 so he was talking about how men have no inherent value. Women and children are valued just because they exist. Yeah, yeah, that one. That's a true one, though. But then, it's, I'm so sorry. That they're much more, they're much more protected. Okay, but then, so then are you? But then I feel like, yeah, okay, cool. Even us as girls, yeah, all of us have had jobs. So I can't. This guy can't come and sit here and say because you're telling me I could up until the age I am now, and just sat there and not having to prove myself. Like I don't have to prove myself by getting a job. Is what he's no, saying. No, but I mean, I mean, like a girl could work in like. Like, she could be the nicest girl and work in, like, Tesco for, like, 10 years. No one's going to look at that different. But if a man says, yeah, like, man's just worked in the supermarket my whole life, like, never really done anything else, you're going to look at him like, what? How can you work at Tesco for your whole life? <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. That's true. That's actually true. Yeah, no, but that's because women have more important jobs. Like, I'm so sorry, childbearing is a very important job. That, like, Ooh, men can't do that, That's true, though. you know. Mm-hmm. I don't really no, but I'm sure if we could do that, we would... I'm sure yeah, exactly, that, and then you would, would be seen as more important, but you can't. So that's why you're less important. <laughs> 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 I have not know that she's so true. I like, teach, I'm so sorry. No, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't say that no. a child like, is a job like just like that. Like, Wait, so just, what is it? Pizza. Wait. No, like, don't say it's a job. Like, it's, it's, it's something like you both decide to well, I mean, it's not a hobby. Okay. <laughs> it's not a hobby. But it's not a job. Like, you don't go, it's not a job either. Like, you don't go apply. Like, it's a commitment, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Teach, pause. You're saying that being a mother is not a job. I never said it's not a job, That's but a job. That's what it is. Okay, being a dad's a full time job too. Huh? You're gonna say no. I'm gonna go and say no. Tasha, <laughs> <laughs> how is being a dad a job? Oh, here we go. No, go on. I want to hear this. I just feel like men, like, in, actually, do you know what? I feel like it's easier for men to pick and choose when to be a dad than it is for a mum to pick and choose. Very mm-hmm. true. Because, fam, that's mm-hmm. what actually holds It depends you, like, on the person. That, no, but it all starts. It all depends on the start, though. Because you could just... Someone could have a baby with someone that 
they, they don't care nothing about. Like, it could just be an, an, you know, quotes on quotes, an accident and all of that stuff. That's where it's, it's gone downhill from there already. Mm-hmm. But then so I feel like someone... with maternal instincts that just kick in, yeah. I mean, let me not say, not all mums are perfect. Let me not say that. Mm-hmm. But then I feel like with a lot of girls, maternal instincts just kick in automatically. And it's just a thing where that's yeah, your child. Like... You held the child for nine months and then you're just you're just not going to yeah, be a mum. Not... I mean, some people are like that, but not, it's rare. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't say like it's, it's more like. I feel like when would... men can come and say that they can carry a baby for nine months, then they should come and tell me. Well, I'm sure if we could get the chance, you know. I'm so sorry, would... men would not huh? do it. Men they don't would have never. the capability <laughs> to do that. You don't, know, you that. You don't know that. Let then. me tell you something for free. You, you lot, you lot are the same though. people that will come say, yeah, we can be periods. Periods are easy. Shush. They can't. No, but we don't know that because we can't do it. If we could do it, we would know. Are you sure? Well, I'm sure if I was made to have ring, I would have to deal with it, wouldn't I? Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. But until then, I would not know how, you know, how it feels. And sorry, another point I completely disagreed with. He said that in society, society favours women over men. Mm, in what sense? Just in general? He said that because women are more valuable than men, society, than society favours women over men. I'm so sorry. Mm. It's not every single thing that's saying that this is a man's world. That doesn't even make Thank sense. Thank you. How? Um, I don't know, you know, it's a tricky one. Me, personally, I feel like this guy is just someone that's feeling a bit sorry for himself. <laughs> he needs to find a job. No, something that's must have happened, isn't it? Maybe he's jobless. Yeah. Oh. He's up there. <laughs> no, but, I, no, but some of the points you make it, I get it. Good. Like, I get it. <clears throat> no, some points make sense. Because then he's saying... Um, what do you say? He values women, women and so children. Like, Gavin needs world. to come closer to the microphone. <laughs> Yeah, because then he said, <laughs> "Oh yeah." Because um, I said he's doing too much. Because then he said, "So of course, men are always going to outdo yeah. women at the high end of society because they have to." But why? Mm. Because their value yeah. more. Like that doesn't make sense. Yeah, no. Some of them, some of them, some of it don't make sense. Some of it makes sense that because if you're saying that women are, hold on, let me just break this down for a second. He said men will always outdo women. Because they have to, because women are valued more. But then, what about the women that outdo men? Are they? Are they? Are they still? Even where women that outdo men, men are still always valued more in society anyway. Mm-hmm. Because if you think about it, I think it depends on what it is, though. No, because if you think about it like this, yeah. If you think of um, okay, let's say let's put this as this. Let's put it as a DJ sort of thing, Mister mm. Champion Boy. If okay, I know you. I know you're gonna say yeah. I've already have a comeback for it, but go on. If you have yeah a sick female DJ, yeah, like she's sick, yeah, and then she's on the same level as DJ, people are always gonna respect the male DJ more. Yeah, I get that, but like, so, is that, is that a thing? Yeah, like, true. say, say, it's all down to like, okay, because male dominated, like everyone's gonna think, yeah, men, men, this is it. So the woman would get recognition, yeah, but it's mm-hmm. just a thing where. Everyone's gonna look at what she does, but look at other things as well. You know how people look at looks, just that and the other, the other, yeah. I think people do have everyone, but say like a boy now starts to do hair, he's gonna get clout because he does hair because it's a female dominated thing. Yeah. No, but yeah. That, I feel like any no, but that's because they they're always going to be high, even if it's a female dominated job. The no. most famous chefs in the world, even though women are expected to cook, the most shem- famous chefs in the world are men. Because they're better. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You can't say Come again? You can't say Ramsey's recipes and you said that's better than mom's cooking. Right. Well, no. <laughs> but I'm saying. It. Exactly. But so, I'm, no. No, but I'm saying. That there's a look... in this world, yeah, they're always going to see in the, get, always gonna be seen as better no, because it's a I'm man's world. Like, to do with, like, Caribbean, <coughs> Caribbean food, yeah, a lot of men, Caribbean men, do cook very good, better than some women. Okay, cool. But then let's even look at it as this. Let's even look at it from, uh, okay, cool. Let's look at makeup, yeah. Look at mm. the amount of female ta- female talented makeup artists in this world. But then why is it that it's Jeffree Star and MMM Mitchell, mm-hmm. whatever his fucking name is, are two of the most um, known, what's it, makeup people in the world? Uh, I don't know who the hell they are, but... Yeah. <laughs> they're they're probably, they're probably just They probably just found a gap in the market of what's not there. 
No, they did what everyone else is doing. They I'm literally sure. did the same thing. Jeffrey so, Star. There's nothing. There's nothing different. Nothing different. They, they literally do the same makeup as everyone else. I'm so sorry. There's even women that do so much better makeup than them. Jeffrey Star is even a racist, and he still gets clapped. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna. Lie, I don't know them in it, so I can't even. I can't even talk on them. I'm not gonna lie. So it's just like it, the fam, the let the playing for. Anyway, as I was saying, I men in society. Oh, I lost my point. Oh, for him to say yeah that men are more valued in society and women are more valued in society just because they give just because they have children and children are protected that isn't necessarily that's not necessarily true because Ad, as Abana said it's about the chef thing for example some of the best chefs in the world are women but it's only men that oh, win the recognition yeah. no T yeah. just said women I said women okay, no, stop but, doing okay, that teach, don't you, do that teach, can you name one one female who's like on top of her game in like career more, more recognition than men not really. There you go. I'll wait. <laughs> you see. There you go. But. No. But. Yeah. But what? Okay, cool. But, yeah. No, I hear about the whole recognition thing, but. Don't you just think that maybe, okay, cool. These men, yeah, have, like, done more, like, to get out there. Like what? No, it's because they're men. No, like, hear me out. Like, obviously, let's say, like, the Gordons, yeah. I don't like the other guy. What's it? Oliver. Uh, Jamie man, Oliver. Like, yeah, he ruined that childhood. It's fine. Yeah, man likes Gordon, isn't it? So man watches all his stuff and that. Has his, have his books and that. Yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like he does more, like... Not that he does more, but he does a lot, like... He does people's restaurants. He, go, he does bare things, like the Hell's Kitchen thing. Yeah, but then that's because he's been given that platform. No, but don't you think he's gone to do that himself? But then, what's that? He even does his thing on YouTube now. What's where that, he teaches people. What's that woman called? Oh my god, I forgot her name. So even people like Nigella Lawson and all them people there, they're not these people. I'm pretty sure Nigella Lawson is a criminal, but I feel like she's a chef as well. You look at that. Then she's a chef. <laughs> but then the thing is, yeah, I'm pretty sure Nigella Lawson is probably one of the top um, TV chefs in the world. But bad, not a lot of people know her name in comparison to. Other people like mm-hmm. Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver. But it all comes down to, as well as that, yeah, it all comes down to who you, who you work with and who's behind you. What do you mean? Promo is a real thing. What do you mean? Like branding is a real thing. Like, mm. who, who would you say is bigger? I would say Gordon's bigger than Jamie Oliver, but Jamie Oliver just is a bit. I don't even like that guy anyway, man. No, um, Gordon Ramsay is definitely bigger than Jamie Oliver, but. In my yeah, anyway. but like he has all them restaurants and all this stuff and all the shows and this that, and the other and, and the YouTube and the books and mm. this. So he actually does a lot, like to get. Out. Yeah, but a woman could do a lot as well if they had his platform. That's no, but he's made that platform. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because he's a man. And it's that. exciting. It's he's... exciting to see, like, oh my god, he's a chef and he's a man. No, but same way, like. <laughs> He's, that, that's that's going back to the DJ thing and say okay cool the women DJs that I notice just because they're a woman oh my god she's a woman that can play music yeah but she's still not like she's still not getting more recognition than men though it's just oh my god she's a woman that's doing DJ whereas there's a chef he's a man he's a he's a chef I'm gonna pay him I'm gonna pay him more no but it, I, get, I get it like I get what you're saying but I just feel like because everyone has to work for their platform mate like, I'm not gonna lie I doubt he was just given that like, I think like he was a little bit, so that's, you know, we're gonna no. we're gonna agree to. Di- we're not gonna agree to disagree because he is where he is because he oh worked up. God. That's it. That's it. that's it. Mm, I necessarily think that. That's it. Like, I mean, I think we should just end that topic there because I don't think we're ever gonna agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. I mean, I think Catherine and Gabby just want to end the topic because it's gonna go to the next topic. <laughs> So, yeah, I hate talking just... about it. No, like, I, no, like, I hate talking about it as well, but it's a thing where, like, I feel like everyone, no matter what it is, you just got to try and do the best you, you can do, and your time will come, like, yeah. Mm. yeah. He's, he's, managed, mm. he's managed to, he's managed to stay oh, at a high level for a very long time, mm. and in doing that, enhance his thing and do different things and this and other, like, it's all down to who you work with. Fair enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, and as a man, you work with your, people, so yeah. And your team behind you. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Having a team is just... just... <laughs>
say, as everybody knows, the host of the most is Arisha T came to the TL topic of the week because <laughs> apparently someone's got a problem with my voice. So I just came to address. Oh, yeah, I missed that. I only found out about it because of Gabby. I didn't even see that anyway. I just came to address all the haters just to come and say that I still think fuck niggas get money. Mm-hmm. That's just on period. period. Because the fact period. of the matter is, yeah, period. I never once said that. Wait, I don't understand. Like, I don't. Am I attacking males by saying fuck niggas get money? I'm just saying it's not reason. There's no reason yeah. for niggas right now. Get your money. Fam. If you got a problem with that, then go suck yourself. How about that? Listen, but what I really well, came to talk bad. about was the point. because the thing is, yeah, cool. I can understand boys. Boys are childish. Boys have been childish. Like, I'm so sorry. There's nothing new. I'm not saying all boys are childish yeah. before anyone starts sh- shit once again. <laughs> but the majority of boys, like you know, the ru- the rudeness you expected from boys. But we just came. No, I, think it, I think it. I think it works both ways. To be honest, it just depends on people in it. But I think it's mm. as bad as each other. But we. I mean, that was crazy. Because <laughs> Catherine was fighting everybody. Listen, Catherine said she would die on this hill. <laughs> Listen, because it's not. It's not us here. They're gonna tear. But what we really came here to talk about was pick me girls. Oh. <laughs> pick me. Oh, pick, pick me, me girls. Okay. Because our pro- yeah. our, our main problem was cool. That shit, say what you have to say. But it's the girls that... Yeah, the girls that are underneath laughing and just doing the merge. Like, Okay, you know one thing I've realised, yeah? Yeah. Like, if a certain, like... If a certain girl picks up on something, Mm -hmm. her friends will pick up on it. Then you'll get the other ones that, like, probably, like, rate the person. They'll pick up on it too. Just go with it, innit? And um, you get mandem that only just get involved because of the girls. Like the man then would say certain things to get the girls. But then that's it's, moist. It's, it's, it's one big circle. Then you're moist. Yeah. Because this is I say fuck niggas got money because you don't have your own head. But you know it is it's, it's, it's the social media, isn't it? Like it's the yeah. It's the you know when they say that clout's killing our people, whatever. whatever clout is yeah. killing our people. A lot of things are killing our people. But like a lot of people do things just because other people are doing it. Like if they see someone like for example, you can see something here that has one like. Yeah. And someone won't like it just because it has one like. Or you'll mm-hmm. see something that has about a thousand likes mm-hmm. and you like it because a thousand people have liked it. But you may not necessarily mm. like. That's the problem with my society because why Why you, do you not have your own brain? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of followers. You must like things. That you must like it. Listen, so just onto this pick me girl thing, yeah. Like, my yeah. problem that I had with it, yeah, was cool. Say what you have to say. I really care. But my problem is. As because Ka- Catherine made this point very clear to me, it's the same girls that will be having Black Lives Matter, that will be having Black this Squares, is... that will be having all of this. Black Squares. You're doing unity. We're all in this together. High School Musical <laughs> last mm-hmm. week, and then you want to be tearing down people on the internet with your with that same mouth that you used to, to say Black Lives Matter. Are you good? And protect protect mental health. Are you good? Um, some people do things just just to do it like they don't actually believe in what they're doing so. but then i'm so sorry yeah. how old are we because this is my other problem you lot people are acting like we're in like secondary school or something how old are you word yeah. it's very sad to see because i feel like a lot of the time is do you know what black people hate black people i just want to put that out of there what do you mean i think you should elaborate on that bit i feel like black people just hate black people <laughs> i've been trying to talk for time First, I was trying to say, yeah, can someone explain? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Girls, okay. Yeah. And then I was agreeing. All right, Catherine, and then, yeah. if you can't hear us again, leave and come back because I don't know what the hell is going on today. Listen. Okay, anyway, Kath- oh, so sorry, before Abana, you continue because Abana basically just said how um, she thinks black people hate black people. But then, before we continue, a pick me, so oh, yeah, for people who don't know, a pick me girl is basically a girl that like she just does things for attention of man, like she'll just act up for attention of man. She likes because if we're talking about the situation mm-hmm. that was at hand, someone tried to come for me on Twitter, yeah, and then. All these girls, there will be certain girls that'll just be joining in, laughing. Yeah, da, 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 and just, it's not a laugh, mm-hmm. laugh. But then the thing is, you know, but then you don't have the same energy because then if it was your friend, then get torn down. You won't be keeping this energy. You yeah. won't be like 
you'll then be screaming when another girl will be laughing you'll then be screaming she's pick me but you're a pick me as well because you want a boy to pick you to be their wife because you do you want all boys to think that oh you have the same mentality as them ha 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 you're so funny yeah that's basically what a pick me is it's true but mm-hmm. i've been on continue oh, why do black people hate black people I just feel like black people hate black people because in the, our community, I see us tear each other down quite a lot. This even like goes back to like, okay, for example, a black business, for example, yeah. On like a black people are so quick to tear down another black business. Like you'd never see this within like the white community. They don't they don't like if they have a bad experience, like let's say they go to a hairdresser, for example, they have a bad experience with a hairdresser. Like mm. I don't see it. Maybe it's because I'm not in that white community, but I don't see white people come on Twitter and be like, Oh my god, today I went to this, they did this, they did this, they did this, did this, did this. Like more time they'll go, they'll say it, they'll say it to the 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 person whilst they're there, or they'll mm-hmm. um, write a review on that website. They won't go to Twitter and make a whole thread about it and then and then get everyone else to jump on board like i just that's that's, that's my main you know yeah, me you see me i really yeah, guys, fun guys okay no you can go Someone go. Right. <laughs> um i was gonna <laughs> no i was gonna say that i really hate thread like threads are so pointless like so some things that are on twitter could really be sold by a phone call yeah mm-hmm like you really could just, or even a GC, not even a GC, because everyone just doesn't even talk in your GCs. But it could really be a phone call, da 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 da, say the issue. The whole thread thing, like when I see some threads about hair and that, I'm like, it's really pointless. Because so one, stupid. like, because you know, it is one, you're gonna go and make a thread, this and other, you're gonna send it to all your friends, they're gonna like it, retweet, da da da, comment, whatever, whatever. You're gonna get other people that might not like the person to comment because they've seen it. Next week, we're gonna forget. They're still going to get them. They're still, still going to get uh-huh, them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So maybe maybe the only people they might not even get is you and the people that don't like them, but your, your, one of your friends might still go to them. It's very true. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So like you do the whole thread thing, but by next week, well, no one even cares no more. Yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like the only time like the black Twitter black Twitter is like popping is when negativity is like around when someone's yeah. dragging someone like when it's when it's mm, bad yeah. things when we're not, we're not there's never when we're uplifting each other. So it's just, oh, black people. Mm. Black people yeah. Black people, yeah, yeah, the only time it pops off is when someone's like, "Oh, have you seen this?" Boom. It's exactly. true. Everyone's seen it now. So. And the thing is, even with the black Twitter thing, yeah, because for, for example, you see that girl that um Jada Jada bought her jumpsuit, mm-hmm. and then she was popping, yeah. but like. She wasn't like, popping the way I'd expect it to be. Like, obviously, on my TL, she, everyone was, fl- like, flooding her. I was so gassed for her. I was like, yeah, yeah, go you, go you. But then it's when someone yeah. that was drag, some boy tried to drag her saying, oh, she used his his video or something. That's when everybody wanted to get involved. I was thinking, wait. So, what video? So, basically, this girl, she owns a, she owns like, a clothes company or something. And then mm-hmm. she sells some jumpsuit. But then some other guy, he must have... Um, like done like a shoot or something and he must have filmed another girl wearing a jumpsuit so then she posted that video and put us the thing like oh um what's it give me she put she posted it and was like oh you can get this exact look if you shot this but she didn't say that that's like it, it belongs to her then the guy comes on the guy um posts on her thing like oh delete this this isn't your work how dare you bruv within 10 minutes wait wait wasn't it wasn't it her wasn't it her outfit no, it wasn't no like, but she's selling an outfit. She's like selling that. an outfit like it, but it wasn't her like video. Oh, oh, I thought it was her outfit, but he done the video. No, 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 it wasn't oh, her outfit. Oh, within ten minutes, he didn't even give her time to reply yet. He's already gone to Twitter to go and drag her. So then, and then it was that, and then all of a sudden, that's what wanted to pop up, pop off. And it was that like, earlier that day, literally, she was literally so gassed because Jada Wade like followed her company. She bought all the stuff that she was selling, everything, and cool. Like bad people were um, gassing her, which is good, but then like. You could just tell the difference between the amount of people that are gassing her when it was something good and then when okay, something bad was happening, everyone wanted to get involved. Everyone wants, a, everyone wants a piece of someone's success when they want to say, yeah, me or whatever. But the video thing, is it his clothing? I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't know. It's what did she do? She po- did she post the video as promo for her thing or like did she quote tweet and say she wanted like this? No, she posted the video that he did. Like, he even done a video. I don't know what the video was for, but he done a video and he said, you can get a look like this if you if you from shop from da 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 That's not even that deep, man. Listen. I said a look, I said a look like this. He, he didn't, she didn't say, this is this is my piece, this is this, whatever. Bruv, it's literally like getting a random video from anywhere and saying, you can get this look if you shop here. 
Like, I'm so sorry, he has to go and beef yeah. everyone on AliExpress then. He has to go and beef everyone on Alibaba <laughs> because at this point... I was about to say that, you know. <laughs> Look at all these websites that sell things that other That's people true. think like. It's like someone designing trainers and you can say, yeah, you can get this look if you follow my boy that does the trainers too. And then you're going to be the person that said it originally. What? Mm, that's, that's dumb, man. I don't know. I don't really understand that one, but... Gabby, what were you going to say? Uh, no, I was going to say, have you guys seen that tweet about Pretty Little Thing, yeah? How um, they ordered a black... Oh, Fruit of from some. Yeah, and then someone tweeted it and was like, this is what Pretty Little Thing will be doing, but you guys will be getting onto mm-hmm. black businesses. I just wanted to make that point. That's it. Oh, I mm-hmm. that, but that real everyone does a little thing. backdoor. Everyone does a little backdoor thing. From... But with Pretty Little Thing, yeah, I just find it a bit mad because... They're actually breaded. Why do you need to like cool is fast fashion, yeah? <laughs> but can't you just make it yourself? It's not yeah, even you like got a, it's, you got exactly. a, you got to cut corners, save costs, and anyone. It's all about the bottom line. Anyone will do anything to save costs, no matter what. Yeah. But you no know, matter, no matter the will never get the same energy. Yeah, no matter what you say about PLT, everyone's still gonna try and say who's got discount, who's doing this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we get you get it like no matter what like everyone's still gonna go and get the same joggers that they're importing from wherever so Catherine what are your thoughts on pick me um, oh, I even forgot it was about pick me girl, like. <laughs> I feel like Catherine I, I don't even know where to start oh no I actually didn't no actually, there was that one girl that was talking in the comments and she was pissing me wow, off what did she say which one like I can't, and she she was saying how our uh, people get onto her for her. Oh my god, with that! Oh, oh my god, Gabby! Oh my god! Who asked you? Who that asked that, you? No, because care. the thing is, you know, it was the other boy that started it, the one that went to yeah, college, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then the thing is, yeah, yeah, what I had, I was even, I was even gonna reply to him, and I said, you know what, let me leave it because the guy. Ga- Wait, sorry, who? What yeah, um, what? what, uh, yeah, what's, what's, the, what's the thing? Oh, what I'll, she I'll, I'll, I'll bleep out his name, but you know what's his name? His name. He needs to so What did he say? So he tweeted, yeah. So obviously, when the whole thing was happening, he must have tweeted and was like, "Ah, oh, um, girl can't take any jokes. Um, I, it's when girls are always dragging men for being short or something. Then all hell must break loose." But the minute a yeah. girl says, the minute someone says something about a girl, uh, this is this 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 whatever, and then the no, girl. I hear that oh, one though. Man can feel that one still. Um, no, 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 but listen. No, 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 no. no. My, my point is, yeah, you, are, you are violating and that. My point is, yeah, don't piss me off because no one ever said I couldn't take a joke. That's not the point. The point is, the yeah. guy came on Twitter to try to drag me. That's the point. Because the thing is, okay. and, and it know, wasn't yeah. funny. It wasn't funny. And another thing is, yeah, what I think as well, people that usually get dragged on Twitter, they've usually done something to someone else for them to get dragged. Me, I just managed Fam. my business. All I was doing was talking to Mateus. Exactly. Video. He's the one that tried to come on Twitter, get retweets. Then he, then he's doing a lot of talking. Then all of a sudden, tweets aren't loading right now. Then the other guy, <laughs> yes. and, and right, little, everyone and, always has something to say. Then it's <laughs> It's not loaded. Then his heart loading right now. Then the other one and his little pinky <laughs> girlfriend was there. Are uh, yeah, never. Yeah, people always say um something. What was it, Gabby? It was something to do with her forehead or something. But the thing is, bro. Yeah, I don't know people. you. And secondly, you're doing a lot of pick me, pick me, but you have nothing to say because I don't know you. And I never have I crushed you for your forehead before. <laughs> Wait. So what did she say? She was like. She was like, how people get onto her about her forehead, like basically saying that people get onto everyone about um, something. Yeah, but, but, I'm I, but am I crying? But you're not being dressed. And, and and I, who exactly. Asking you. Listen. Exactly. But the thing is, yeah, she was acting like I was crying or something. Did I, all I said was, "Lord, <laughs> I said what I said. Thank you. Next. Exactly. Is, it, is it my problem that pe- that other people came to my defense? That's not my fault. Exactly. Hmm. And you know what? Because yeah, girls time, are mad. Go on, Gabs. I said more time if it was her being dragged in the tea, she wouldn't be coming back. Exactly. Time. Exactly. You know what she's talking about. Mm. And guys, deep it, girls are so crazy. Because imagine, how can you go now onto the thread and you're seeing your MCM or your man laughing and you think, yeah, that's so funny. Let me God forbid. How, God forbid. <laughs> if I saw my MCM... I hope all you pick me, guys. I hope they pick you. Oh, I hope God. they pick Listen, you up. Because that's how they'll be laughing at you as well. I'm doing shit on your laughing. No, there's pick me man them too, man. Yes, they are. I can't lie. Those boys make me sick. 
how can you be a pick me and you're a boy? <laughs> and it's like, you, and the thing is, yeah, they can't even do it. And it's so, Don't kill me. No, how can you say it like that? No, because you know, pick me boys, pick me girls will be sick, but pick me boys, oh my god. I don't know if I've Because you know these people, they have no shame. Like, the thing is, they will no go shame. to the lowest of the low. They will do the dumbest of the dumb. And it's like, wow. Wait, a trick, give an example. Okay, what can be an example of a pick-me boy? Something that I've seen. On Twitter. Because <laughs> Twitter's a very wild place. Okay, so, let's say, yeah, uh, you know... Oh, my God, this is a perfect example. This is even to do with pretty privilege as well. So, I'm not coming for laws, <laughs> but, okay, let's say, yeah... Loz, Loz, you know how Loz, every single time someone she thinks someone's coming for her, so then she'll just start coming for yeah. them back. But then it's like she, she mm. read the thing wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All these boys in the comments will be like, nah, but she's allowed to make mistakes. No, but she's allowed to do this. No, she's allowed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. If this was not anybody else, <laughs> you know for a fact, everyone will be dragging them. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh, because I think with boys, with pick me boys, it's pretty privilege that also comes into play. Because oh my god, even I don't know if I can say this is a pick me though, but it's just like you know when Catherine was arguing with that boy, and then he was doing the most talking shit, talking shit. That when Gabby came to say something, mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna say anything to you. Yeah, like, shut up, because Gabby's never gonna pick yeah. me. So move. Exactly. Let's... And oh my gosh, even but on Instagram, this? guys, deeper, even on Instagram, because I replied to every single person who I saw was trying to shit. <laughs> yeah. And then when Kaden was coming Man doing tag team with me, someone said, um, person. oh, you're paying the DM me. Like, see? listen, no, no, she's not going to pick you, bro. Wow. So, you're trying to change your tune now. <laughs> like, I even saw one person trying to justify it when I think Tia said something or something. Like, they know what they're doing. They know so, exactly what they're doing. Fam, this is what I mean. I feel like boys need to learn that a lot of the time you can't... Because the thing is, it just displays the kind of the hate person you are. So keep doing all your talking, doing all the shit you're doing, but no worries. I hope you all get picked. That's all I have to say. No, no worries. Pick me, girls. You're mad. <laughs> this is this one's especially for you. You're mad. <laughs> Pick me, boys. You're even mad. Find off. shame. Find <laughs> shame. Listen, a lot of people need to find shame and they need to find because the Because free. It is free. <laughs> hey. So obviously we saw the whole TR erupt when um Kylie Jenner wore a black and brand dress. Is it? No. Yeah, I ain't seen I that. that. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So basically that. Kylie Jenner wore a dress that was made by a black girl and obviously it's her brand. But basically well, from England, had the... yeah, yeah, she's from London. Yeah, she's from London. Hmm. I'm even sure she's from East, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then obviously, bad people were getting onto Kylie, not even bad people, like half the world were getting onto Kylie Jenner saying, why she's not tagging black owned businesses, why she's not black, tagging black brands. Now, the argument for against her was like, obviously, why are you not tagging black brands? What's wrong with you? Da, 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 da. But then the argument for her was like, she's bought the clothes now, so why does she need to tag them? So she didn't she buy doesn't them, need to tag them. She was no, she wasn't she didn't she buy, didn't them. buy them. No, she was sent. The, yeah, she, she was, was sent, sent it. it. She was she didn't buy them. Yeah, oh, them. she was sent it. Yeah. yeah, so basically that girl has some I heard that that girl has someone that manages mm-hmm. her and that the person that manages her reached out to Kylie Jenner to get it sent over mm-hmm. to her. Ah. And yeah, so it got sent to Kylie Jenner. Oh. But then you have to deep it, yeah. Celebrities have, you have to pay them for promotion. It's cool you're sending them their thing, but was that in the agreement? No. That well, but the girl wore, wasn't even know? fighting for that. I'm not going to lie. The girl was just happy. You could just be like, yeah, she wore this if you want it. Buy no, it from her. Boom. I just think, exactly. I just think it was just bad timing. She should have known, her, her PR should have also with bad timing for you to do something like this because at a time where everyone's doing black business support black business support black business no, but I'm she so might sorry. even think it's she... good because she's wearing it no but it sh- it, i'm so sorry she should have seen that it looks a bit booky for her to wear a black business and all her sisters are wearing black business and tagging them and for her to be the only one that hasn't tagged them and then she turns oh, her comments off that. yeah she, and then she turns her comments off because everyone's like t- saying oh you're 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 bad for not supporting black businesses and and everyone's tagging the, the black businesses the black business that she's wearing but then she turns her comments off so it looks a bit booky yeah, that does. Although, like, yeah. she didn't intend for it to be like that, it looked a bit weird. Mm. 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 <laughs> Everyone just said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "No, that's a, it's a techie one." Then I don't know. 
But yeah, if, if everyone tagged it apart from her. Because then the only thing is, as someone someone else did tweet, I feel because the thing is, yeah, it's it's lucky that we're just lucky that Kylie Jenner took it the way she did because it could have been a thing where she could have just got spiteful and said, okay, I'm never gonna work with her, with her ever again, and then it just could have yeah, got long. Sure. Everyone could have deleted the post, bro. Exactly, and then everyone could have just ruined it for the girl. Mm-hmm. Can't lie, she's posted bare pictures in the email. Yeah, she has. And she finally tagged them. In and the she house. actually tagged them. But I'm not gonna lie though, she might have got to tagging them, but because everyone jumped on it, like. No, no, no. She's not going to be. No, but we don't know, though. Like, we don't know. She could have just posted it quick. Yeah, but. I don't understand why everyone was on her anyway because the girl was happy. Mm -hmm. The girl was happy she was wearing it anyway. Yeah, the person's not even complaining. Sometimes I feel like people overdo it. It wasn't yeah. to blow out of proportion like that. Definitely. Mm. People, People just get bored on Twitter. Twitter. just deleted the post from. <laughs> she could have just deleted it. She could have just deleted it. No, it's true, though. She could have actually know. just deleted it and said, no, the hate's too much or something, or something is silly. Like. <laughs> this is why when you're famous, you just have to have a really good PR. Because that's what we've been screaming. No, but you know, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, she could have thought, yeah, she could have just been, you know, like, yeah, obviously, man, don't know that, but obviously, you take a picture before you go out or whatever. Yeah, she could have just boom, like, let me slap this up. This one's nice. Wait, just yeah, that's, um, I no, think no, that's no. probably what it was. No, no, no. And I'm she so could have, she could have come back, she could have come back later to post because you said she's posted more than one, like, so she could have been coming back later to post the next thing, whatever, whatever, whatever. Where to her? Yeah, and um, so, like, you know, like when someone says, Oh, are you gonna do this before you've even done it yet, but you was gonna do it anyway. So it's just jarring. Like it could have been a situation like that. Um, sorry. Can I just say one thing? Go on. Um, I don't think with Kylie Jenner, this is just a slap up post. Kylie Jenner's Kylie Jenner. This is you know, you know every single thing she posts is planned. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. But I'm saying like she could have she could have been coming back to do something different or to add them more because she said because Gabby said that she's posted more than one picture in the in the outfit. Mm. Mm, yeah. So, I'm looking at it now still. She posted two. I just feel like um. I can't remember what I'm going to say. Too fast. At least give it like a day. Jeez. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah, um, everyone did the most, you know, because you know when they send people, like, have you guys seen it? Like, when people make threads about how, yeah, they sent this person, this and yeah, yeah, yeah. like Kenza and Paige Keiki yeah, yeah. and how they never promoted it. Mm-hmm. But you lots don't talk about that on the TL. Like, you'll see the thread. But then that's it. You're not going to see anything else. But look how they wanted to come and cancel Kylie because of it. It's true. That people pick and choose. What? Yeah, everyone pick and choose when they want to get on. I'm not going to Oh, no, yeah. Cancel culture is completely fake. Oh, oh, yeah. We've, we've, oh, yeah, no, we've definitely discussed that. Cancel culture is fake because you'll be tweeting them next week. So, please. This is... That's it. If you're going to cancel someone, just cancel them privately and keep it moving. Because there's no point coming to announce to the world that you're going to cancel them. Then next week, you'll be listening to their music because then you'll just look like a dickhead. Exactly. Yes. Look at 6 9 <laughs> No, sorry. He's done out. He's yeah, but that reality. song did slap <laughs> no, Oh, my God, Catherine. <laughs> oh, my God. No, song high key, high key. Oh, wait, which song are you talking about? Slap. I was about trolls. I cannot lie. I will say it with my chest. Both the songs slapped. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they both slapped. Booba You guys are all just, just rubbish I've, people. I've never listened to that song because I've never listened to that song. I've never yeah, listened to I that just, song. I just listened, I can't I just lie, listened to the Nicky one. Oh, he broke records. You know what is, yeah? He, like, he broke records so quick and easy. Like, it was mad. The views was mm. crazy. For no crazy. reason. For no reason. I think I just think <laughs> in this world people look for trouble. They do. But I'm not gonna lie though, the video was peak. Which video? The, video the vid- music video for the Nicki Minaj one. Oh, I can't lie, it was cold, yeah. so. Only because Nicki Minaj is in it, not because of him. Facts. <laughs> no, no. Nicki Minaj is just a troublesome someone. I really love fun it. Was, though. It was a bit funny still. So. It's a bit questionable. <laughs> That's a conversation for another day. Dude, you are so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, I think what did you learn from tagging the brand? Sorry, tag them. Mm. If, if you want to tag them, tag them. No, but you know what it's like. You know what it's like. Yeah, it's like when you get people that promo their stuff like YouTube and that on Snap. Yeah, 
and then they'll 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 send the promo out at like five. Five fifteen they've said, Oh, whoever doesn't hasn't posted or you're not really supporting man fake. <laughs> it's no, been yeah. fifteen minutes. Do you think every- yeah. <laughs> within fifteen minutes? Like, no, imagine, but then some I- people, like some people no, but like someone will send me something, save it. But I might be doing something, but I've saved it because I know when I go to post something, I'm gonna see this and be like, Yeah, let me post that as well. Boom. Mm-hmm. Like on especially on Sundays, yeah. A lot of people, oh, I even need to post it. A lot of people post on Sunday. Well, I post on a Sunday because it's like it's the start of the week kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. If someone sends me something at five. If someone, no, if I send something someone at five, yeah, and a mm-hmm. broadcast, someone might post that the next day at five. Like that happens all the time. Like someone might not see it till tomorrow. It's true. So when people jump and be like, oh, fake this, this, that, not supporting, it. you haven't given no one time. Like, mm. it's, like, it's mad. Yeah. But can I say, like, one thing that is fake is when you post that people's stuff and you don't post your friends, but that's a topic for a different day. When you, when you post certain people's stuff, you, you don't post certain stuff. I, I don't even but think okay, another thing I think is that deep, though. I, I would rather... But like if someone like sends me like that YouTube or something, yeah, I know for a fact if I post it, no one's going to swipe up and subscribe because everyone is fake in this world. I'd rather go and no, subscribe but my fans. Though. No, no, fans. no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't know that though. I promise you, TGM. More time when people post on that story, no one's swiping up on Snapchat anymore. No one no cares one. unless it's a no, big person no, posting no, it. Yeah, I, pro- Wait, I, I promise oh you. Gosh. Oh, no, I'm telling that, bro, you. People go post back things. Off and people post things and I'll swipe up. I was, people will post me and I'll swipe up. You're a very, you're a very good-hearted person. This one, let me tell you something. No one swipe up to follow nothing. I'm, I'm not like, the only one that swipes. I'm telling you. Oh, so, listen, people unless like there. people don't. So especially the people they I know don't. on my own Snapchat, I know no one's gonna yeah. follow. So I'll rather follow it myself. No, yeah, but you don't know did. that though. You actually don't know who's Fam, gonna I see post, it. I post. Like, what's your thing? What's your snap on private or or open? No, if I'm if I'm posting someone else's things, I'll put it on open. Yeah, so you don't know who's gonna see that though. No, but let me say okay. And there's a list. Teach, send me something to post on my story. Yeah, tell me who from my list comes and follows you. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to just like if you like if you send me your music, I'll go no, and download but you it don't myself. Know that, no, they they might not they might not necessarily follow me, but they will have a listen. That's still that's just as well. That's just as good. I mean, I think you don't you don't know the caliber people. No, yeah. no, people don't like to follow, but they will listen. No, do you know what I, I think it is? I think the thing is, yeah, I don't even think it's about following. I think people are just followers, as we said yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. But it's only when you see other people yeah. doing it that's when you're gonna do it. Because, for example, no, like, yeah, one thing. Yes. Yeah. Let's say yeah, someone one, one someone we know starts a business. We know the ba- amount of people we have on Snap, they're fake. They're not gonna follow it. They're it's only when people it. start getting clout. That's when, mm-hmm. because for example, let's look at Let Me Land here. Yeah? There's some yeah. people that I can say are my supposed good good friends. They didn't they didn't follow Let Me Land until that whole thing until it happened. That's when they want to start following really? Let Me Land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about sister, there, there, there. So I think yeah. you're just a follower. But um, my, what was I um, gonna say? Um, the best promo though. Is when someone posts something like say you release something like today, yeah. Mm-hmm. Two weeks time, someone just posts it that you that's never promoted or whatever. That's the best type of promo. That's when you know someone likes it. When they just oh, when they actually listen to it. Yeah, when they at you randomly yeah. like yeah, this, 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 this. That's the best type of promo. So, and it can come at any time. Like you actually just never know when someone's gonna listen to something. Cause look, just like, like for example, what song is there? Like I don't even know what's a bait song. Um, like you see, like this Pop Smoke album, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people were posting it and that like, cool. No one knows Pop Smoke, yeah. But like, there's still gonna be people in the world that actually have never heard him before. True. And they could they yeah. could hear him in they could hear him in like a couple of years and then post it. Like you get like it's mad. Like you never know when someone new is gonna pick something up or follow you or rate what you're doing or something. So. But yeah, no, what you said though about the close friends thing, some people only start when it goes off in it. Hmm. Everyone is mad. Mm-hmm. But, but I mean, because everyone's really got their is. own, everyone has their own um, view on what to support, what's success. 
It's like true. Sometimes like, people will only support you and everyone else is supporting you. Period. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. just that's, that's just facts. It's true. It's true. But you also facts. get people that like, support you from the jump no matter what though. Just yeah, yeah. And those are niggas. Yeah. Like you will know, you know in yourself who you can send it to and or who you don't even have to send it to and they'll at you. They'll screenshot it and post it. Post it. Like you will know. Those are the real niggas. Let me tell you something yeah. free. Oh, that's what I was saying about the, the follow thing. No, what's up? what was she saying? You saying something? I was gonna say something about Twitter. Like me and a couple of people, we tweeted the same thing at the same time to see the response mm-hmm. in it, and it was so funny. I can't remember. Oh, what really? It was, like, it was like a couple. Of days ago, I don't know. Maybe nearly a month ago. And then me and my boy did it like last week again. Just to see what the person would respond back to both of us in it. It's just yeah. like, like just to see like what people do, like how people take things in from different people in it. We were just doing a little, you know, doing a little social experiment it. or something. Fuck yeah, no. we were just doing a little, <laughs> we were just doing a little social experiment. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone saw it because I feel like Matthias is kind of filled with Nigerians ATM. But did you see I'll the guy? See them. <sighs> Shut up. I saw it, but I didn't watch it. Oh, no, yeah, I didn't watch the whole thing because Catherine O'Connor was very long. But basically, this guy, <laughs> um, he was this boy, he was, like, pouring, like, all this stuff on the kitchen floor. And then there was, like, some Nigerian boy. And he basically said how, um, I didn't really read the whole story, but it was something like how his mum dashed pepper in his eye while he was still, uh, dis- while he was still huh? disoriented. Like, she must have was slapping him up. Da, 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 da. That's the reason he was, like, basically destroying all the stuff in his house. So then the whole the whole topic then became um stuff about toxic parents. So mm. basically, do you feel like it's okay to disown your parents? Definitely. <laughs> it's okay to disown anyone. Yeah, 100%. I'm so sorry. 100,000. It's okay to disown anyone. If it if don't work for you. Go on, tell them. Sorry. If your parents toxic, they're toxic because you're a yeah. toxic friends. Exactly. So I'm so sorry. If they're not benefiting you, and they're putting you down, and they're hurting you. you but I feel up. like so yeah, that is very hard to be in an African household. Hundred percent. It's not. It's, it's not easy like that. You can't just 100%. be like, yeah, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> it's so true. Because listen, let me tell you something for free. Yeah. Should I say this? Fuck it. Let me mm-hmm. say it. Let me just say it. <laughs> so obviously, you found my mom and her mom. Ops. Mm-hmm. Op, mm-hmm. op. Listen, my mom's mom, she's the op. But the thing is, this is even this. I can even say this with, with me and my dad. My, my dad is my biggest op, yeah. But then, obviously, being African, yeah, you know, there's always going to be people that are always come to tell you, yeah, but he's your mom. I mean, yeah, but he's your dad. And then, yeah, but, everyone mom, always has yeah, but she's your mom. Da, 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 da. But then, the thing is, I don't understand why. Like, I don't understand why people need to make excuses for it. Because the thing is, if you're a toxic person, you're a toxic person. Because then, for example, when my mom says, always say, oh, yeah. No, yeah, but she she's an old woman. Da, 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 da. I don't no, give a heck. Like I don't give a heck. Same way with my dad. Oh, same way with my dad. Oh, yeah, no, but he's your dad. Okay, but I like I don't I don't understand why everyone has a big issue with it. But then when it comes to then correcting the pe- the people that are doing the toxic behavior, everyone wants to stay quiet. Mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. It's true. That's actually true. I don't know, do you feel like you can cut like... Oh, sorry. I, oh, I, oh, yeah, you go, Catherine. I just feel like, yeah, in terms of African households, mm-hmm. they like to... I mean, I'm talking about my mom personally. <laughs> she likes to use the word respect. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, mm, my gosh. Hard, like, to force... Like, do you know what I mean? They use respect to so justify like, disrespect. Yeah, yeah. So even if, like, you try and give an opposing opinion, that's seen as disrespectful. Mm. You're not allowed to. You're not so allowed you know to how much I hate that. Opinion. Listen. They'll be like, so, so you're just gonna talk to me anyhow? Because yeah, I'm, or don't raise your voice or something. Because I'm correcting like, you. Because you're wrong. You word, you word. Or it's a thing like even if I'm giving an opinion on something I believe in, she's there coming to tell me something. You're gonna come to tell me something else. Yeah, you literally you have to agree, or you have to not say anything at all. Like, I'm, mm, 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 <laughs> something just gets me mad. <laughs> I personally just feel like no, I don't even care if it's family or what. If they're not, if they're just being negative, then it is what it is. Obviously, it'll be harder. It won't be as easy as like cutting off like a friend or something because they're blood. But if it needs to be done, it needs mm. to be but done. But then you have to deep it if you live with them. 
if you live with them, mm-hmm. it's a lot harder, especially mm-hmm. people like <laughs> someone our age. I listen, I, live, your I listen, I lived in a house, yeah, in uni, and I didn't speak to one of my housemates for a year. I could do anything. I mean, <laughs> no, our, 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 room was, our room was next door to each other. <laughs> listen, anything could is... no, but no, but in terms of family, yeah. You'll just look at them and you'll probably just look away. Like, you miss them, but you can't talk to them. Like, it's much harder. Mm, I don't know, you know. I, I get it, though. Like, obviously, different situations will have... You'll feel a lot... Yeah. Um, you'll feel a lot different. I don't know, though, but I feel like you can do it to anyone, though. If you can do it to anyone. Cut them off. If it, ain't good, if it ain't good, if it ain't good, yeah. it ain't good. Come on. Nah. I mean, do you feel like you can cut off your parents? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't. Why don't you think you can? <laughs> nah, because I feel like if I cut, like, if you can't, it depends. I, no, not it depends. I can't cut off my mom because then I can't have access to my dad or my siblings. I can't cut off my dad because that's the same thing. Like, if I cut off a parent, I don't have access to the family anymore. And I can't... Okay, I can't but what is this thing when you're older and they're being toxic? I still feel like if... Like, the way the unit works in my family, you can't cut off one person and expect the whole family to just be like, yeah, that's calm. Like, it's... It doesn't work out. Everyone's always going to have an opinion from the outside, though, because they don't actually feel what you're yeah, feeling. The, that's not from the outside. That's from the inside of the family. So it's... I can't... No, but they're, risk... the out, they're outside of the situation. Yeah, but then I can't risk losing... A, like another member because I can't have one member. No, you can man. No matter how toxic they are, or not. No, like I just have to work around. Like I won't, I won't, I won't necessarily speak to you as much. But and also with me, I feel a lot of guilt. So God forbid, like I can't have, like one of my parents, and then something is to happen to them. I can't like I have to die as well with them because the guilt inside <laughs> me is gonna just be too much. I just feel too guilty. So yeah, I can't do it. Uh, fair enough mm. then I know I get what you're saying but I don't know uh, I don't know man I feel like I could just because I feel like there's some things that are unforgivable I feel like I could. in my opinion I could like I feel like the way some people come like the thing is maybe I mean I don't know I, mean, I feel like maybe it's because you haven't you don't know what it's, you, know, you haven't experienced toxicity to the level where you can cut people off I, no, but the thing. Okay. In, no, 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 another, no, no, no. Not as in as in with your parents. I'm not talking about people in general because we all know we've done that. Who's making that noise? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm looking for something, sorry. sorry, sorry. Okay, but um, then... But okay, it's tricky. So imagine the way, how close you are with your mum right now, yeah? Mm-hmm. Imagine, like, further down the line, in, like, 10 years' time, she does something, like, that you would think is quite enough worthy. Yeah. But, like, you have all that memory from the past as well, so... Just because she's done one, this one thing doesn't mean that, you know, you can just no. get all the good things as well. Oh, yeah, no. But then that's what I'm saying. Because, for example, with my mum and her mum, this, this is a continuous thing that she, exactly, that she just does. Yes. So she's cut her off. But, I don't know. I can't imagine cutting my parents off. They would have to, like... They would have to... Like, no, nah, hey, it would have to be mad, I don't know. Isn't it? I, don't, I can't even... Im- even if they killed someone, I don't think I could do it. No, I don't think I would for that. I don't understand that one though. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I don't actually understand that one. They just have to explain it to me and I'll be like, right. right cool. like, if it's something like to if it's something like to me, yeah. I think yeah, would you feel a lot more, innit? I think for me it's like imagine they didn't like oh what's it? yeah, this one just came to my mind. Imagine, yeah, they wanted you to like do you, I don't know, like, because obviously, like, obviously, man's currently in there, so man can't really speak on other things, but man's gonna do it anyway. So, you know, like, <laughs> how they say, like, doctors, nurses, and stuff like yeah. So, say, like, they wanted you to be a nurse or whatever, mm-hmm. but your view was to do something health, and then they got you, they done something to get you to lose the job you had to try and get you to go to this field. What are you gonna be like? I can't lie, I'll be like, you're moving mad. <laughs> There's probably people that there's probably people that are out there that do that. Absolutely, like, you're like, mad. Because it's like you, you like, do you not want my happiness? What? Mm. I just can't imagine that ever happening. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it is? I think I think it's harder depending on your closeness with your family. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is because some people it's easy because they may not be. Oh, as they've close never been as close. Mm. So it's like yeah. Mm. 
so it makes it harder. Fair enough. Yeah, that's I mean, me and my mum are pretty close, but there's times yeah, where so I think there'll be I things that. Yes. No, but I feel like close. <laughs> I'm not gonna Yeah, like that's the thing. Like, close you are, innit? Like, but there's people that cut off close people every day, though. That's true. Um, yeah, I feel like they have they a different personality to me, though. Say that again. They have a different personality to me. That's why they can do it. So obviously, I was watching Marital Medicine. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like oh, it's Steve. It's basically like <laughs> I put a chicken on. No, you didn't. Fake. <laughs> You're fake. You yeah. definitely put me on. Sorry. <laughs> You're such a liar. Yes, I do. No, you didn't. Rachel put me on, so shush. Okay. Anyways, I reinforced the putting on. Anyways, if you don't know what Marital Medicine is, it's basically like a sort of medical version of Real Housewives like that now, but there's two of them on doctors and then the other like four like doctors wives anyway one of the doctors she's a woman she said women should be submissive oh to their husbands gosh. what's wrong with him Tottenham scored wait oh. wait <laughs> are you being serious sorry sorry no I'm very upset right now. there's only nine, <laughs> like nine minutes left wait <laughs> this guy is so annoying what's it it's tricky, kick him out. Kick anyways, him out. Little shit, Sarah. Kick him out. Anyways. <laughs> sorry, what was we talking? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh He's even got God. background noise. He's just ruining the thing. Sorry, let me just... Yeah, we're Fucking it. hell. <laughs> Guys, I just want to apologise for all this background noise, all this back and forth. Just, oh, you, this corona thing is just not... Oh. Not <laughs> Because it's because of Corona that we have to do this stupid virtual recording. So the doctor, the woman was like, women should be submissive to their husband no matter how successful they are. So for those... God forbid. Now, and, what? And when I actually you looked what, at mate? the definition of submissive... Now... No, I was just looking mm-hmm. up, you know. <laughs> no, yeah. But... <laughs> but go on, see if you have it. Go <laughs> because submissive actually means ready to conform to the authority or will of others so you're God meekly forbid. obedient or you're passive so to be submissive you're almost like a sheep now hmm. listen to me no guys you know my slogan nice. is fuck niggas get money <gasps> now this is fuck niggas get money times 10 because cool the thing because you know i've had this discussion with my mom as well because i'm so sorry i don't know if it's, i just feel like I, we live in such a society where Women should be liberated enough. You can't come and tell me that no matter how successful I am in this life, I should be submissive to you and whatever you have to say because you're a man. Exactly. Did you give birth? Make to it you? make you're sense. Mad. Like, why? Why should I be submissive? Because when you when you deep it, this is all because you're a man. This is this is literally all it comes down to you because of your mm-hmm. because of your genetics. But guys, you know what's sad? Yeah, I feel like a lot of um. It is that. Gabby. Like that. I remember I've had so many arguments with my mom about that. Yeah. A lot. And she'll just be like, no, but you have to do this for your husband. I'm like, yeah. you? Me? No. Sorry. I can't Same hear anything. Yeah. No one's saying, no, no one's saying okay. anything. No one's saying anything. Sorry, Gabby, say that last one again. Um, I said I've had so many arguments about it with my mom because I remember I said, what did I say? I said, there was one time I was doing something and then she said, when you're older, you're going to have to do that. For you. No, no. She was cooking. And then she was like to me, oh, um, she was going to cook for me and then cook for my brother. And I was like, no, he can make his own food. <laughs> and then she was like, no, when you're older, that's what you're going to have to do with your husband. And I was like, my husband's going to cook too. And then she was like, huh? <laughs> you're not gonna find... I was like, no, me and my husband are going to take it in terms to cook. What the hell? You but you know what? This is day. how it starts because look at that. Like, what Gabby said, for instance, her mom is cooking for her brother. Gabby, how old is your brother? If um, you see, exactly. <laughs> exactly. African boys are when babies. I, make food, I have to cook. When I make food, I have yeah. to cook him too. You're right. Are you a big <laughs> you, age? You have to cook him. <laughs> is that, fam. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. Boys are babied until they find their wife and then their wife now has no, to be all, you after. know. I'm not going to lie. I think it depends where you come from. Yeah, that. I feel like no, I feel like with Caribbean boys, I mean, teach, speak, because I don't want to talk to anyone. See, before we do our starts, own thing. Before so anyone starts saying I'm coming to them. Everyone, no, like, everyone is taught to cook with your mum. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. No. Like, if no, I'm not, not, like listen, from young, yeah, boy. I'm not just cooking. I'm in the kitchen. Cutting up the cutting up the season. Must be nice. 
I'm sure. You think uh, African boys can ever? That's not African. You know what, actually, guys, let's not, let's not say everyone. Because really no, let's not say everyone. There could be yeah. some African boys that are actually aren't like that. Eight out of ten. Yeah. From, like, from, like, friends I have and stuff, and, like, growing up and that with, like, with people from those backgrounds and that, man does understand that, yeah, like, the women um, do most. It's like, um, it seems like Asians. I don't know. I can't really talk for them either, but. Well, I understand that doesn't the women do the cooking and that mostly as well. I think Asians as well. They pander yeah. to they pander to men way too much. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, I think there's more than anyone. They really pander. Like I saw some, I saw some video about saying some woman saying how yeah she gives her husband the biggest meat in the pot. Huh? Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. Still, obviously, man, I used to have um my tutors. My tutors used to be um, Asian. It's nice to go to their house and have dinner, and like, I used to get pampered from. Like it huh? was crazy. Hmm. Me. Hmm. Right I'm gonna Everyone me. gets served the same. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even from the family. Like man, getting food and this. Like <laughs> it's mad. And then because obviously man's been to uh, um of those type of weddings because of all my neighbours that like, from growing up and stuff. So like, and I see it. But their weddings are lit though. God, that's so late. But the food that like, they do with the food and that like they do get like the best. Of the best meat and that and all of that stuff and yeah, and like the men, like sometimes yeah. the men will get served first. Yeah, yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. But that's a, it's a no for so me. Can you do all of this? Is because of genetics? Yeah. Because there are some man. That's so so. That's yeah. impossible. Not in my house. So that's. But no, I think it's just down to down to people's beliefs, isn't it? It's all down to beliefs. I've been not just no. He <laughs> don't make his own food. So you're right. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, he doesn't cook it, but he goes to um get his own food. Yeah. How but how am I meant to know how much you want? It's true, you know. <laughs> then you go and bring it to them. They're like, "Oh, is that it? Like, can I get some?" Uh, now you have to go back. No, no stop way. it, man. No, but I can't. <laughs> when they tell you it's too much, you're not going to finish it. Oh, stop it. The only time I think my dad gets served is like if there's a guest. If there's a guest in the house, then oh, oh and everyone's everyone. Not everyone gets served. It's him and his guests will get served. That's what I mean. Because they would, yeah. Respect. Yeah. But apart from that, no. In my house, no woman here knows how to cook except for my mom. Wow. Do you know how to cook? I can, <laughs> know, like, basic food. <laughs> 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 I'm going to come to the podcast. No, but, like, no, I can make basic food, but, like, as in, no, like, no, dinner no. time. No, 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 you should put this up because, no, you know what, let me not. Okay. Wow. Let you not what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know, you don't need to learn, know how to cook. Exactly, because... because my husband can cook for me. No, I've... Facts, listen. <laughs> then you who? Because the thing is, as I said, like, the way I explain <laughs> it to my mum, yeah, is, fam, you're telling me re- people like all these women that have suffragettes, all these influential people, what's it? What's it? I can't remember her name. Fella Cootie's mum, Ransom Cootie. All these women in society have fought for women, and you're telling me I should then become submissive to a man. For what yeah. reason? Yeah, exactly. For what, For what reason? No, all of that stuff don't make sense, though. The whole like being this type of person to this person because no, he's no. the head of the house. Oh my god! Just... I don't think there should be a such thing as that, though. I think you should just be equal. This done. is what I'm saying. But mm. everyone just does their thing and done. From everyone's got their own responsibilities within the household, anyway. You? you see, and do you know what breaks yeah. my head when people our age think like this as well? Like it's like mm. uh, you know can, those people. You can't even you can't even talk to them. Listen, oh, I don't even have a conversation with them about it because they give me a headache. It's just a losing battle. They're not gonna hear what you're saying. Yeah. You're not gonna, you're gonna hear what they're saying, but you're still gonna make a point. They're not gonna hear your point. So you just flawed, fam. Yeah. You just gotta let them believe what they wanna believe, fam. They'll, they'll figure it out. Men are mad. Men are. Yeah, yeah, let me not say anything because this is how someone will come to me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's tricky. It's tricky. Let them come. Let them come because I'm ready. Two. <laughs> No, because everyone's actually so stupid. So, like, when I said, I was just thinking, are you lots mad? And it was pissing like, me off because the they're just mad that their voice isn't deep. Sorry, it's not our <laughs> fault. <laughs> it's actually not our you fault. Have seen half of them. You should have seen half of them. Oh, you see, the thing is, yes, yeah, see, Gabby, that was my problem. You know, I was gonna come for people, but then I said I'm not gonna stoop to the level of coming for your looks no, because I know that's something right. I know that's something that you can't change. So every time, because then the thing is, I'll be looking at the the DPS of people. I'm thinking, wait. No, but it's okay. I came for people's lips, no, and I don't even. That was like, when I was going through some people's profiles, yeah, I can't lie. These are fake accounts, so I don't understand what gives people like no, the confidence to always, make a fake account in order to go bully someone online. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
people always chat on like private accounts i don't understand that do you know how sad some that your life has to be in this world Mm. for you to make a fake account in order to go go bully someone on the internet i'm telling you these people need to go on indeed and find jobs because clearly (laughs) there's nothing else for them to do it's a hobby that they need to find as well Listen. And then you know what's even funny? It's the people that the people that even have real accounts here. Yeah. I'm just thinking, wait, are you are, are you being serious now? Come on. Yeah. Some boy, if you saw his drip, I said, listen, <laughs> focus on what you're wearing. <laughs> Don't play with me. You're wearing all white. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> no, because I saw Catherine in the comments. Catherine said, yeah, but your music shit. So what's next? <laughs> yeah. Oh and he even God. blocked me. Oh. Don't play with me. Oh my Because it's okay, say what you need to say because we will go again and again and again. I mean, to be honest, I've been saying fuck niggas get money. That's what it is. Yeah. They're obviously upset. I mean, it's sorry. Fam. Sorry if you feel like it applies. Listen, to you. Because, fam, did I ever at anyone? If that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I never said niggas can't get money. Bam. I never said, bruv, I said fuck niggas get money. Niggas can't get money. And, you said what you and I said what I said, and that's just on period. <laughs> Um, so we have come to the end of the episode. I feel like we've been chatting loads. I'm already oh, is that it? I feel like I haven't spoken a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, just to round it off. Yeah, I, I felt like I was quite quiet. <laughs> I was about Oh my god. So we've got guys, I'm just so sorry. I hope you guys take something from this episode because we've got TJ complaining about fucking Arsenal and Tottenham. We've got Pippin, Abana, I don't know what she's doing. I think Gabby's eating. eating crisps. Like, <laughs> I'm um, actually not. But um, yeah, make sure you follow the Let Me Land podcast on Instagram at Let Me Land Podcast, yeah, Twitter, Let Me Land Pod. Use the hashtag mm-hmm. Let Me Land Pod. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel Let Me Land Podcast. <laughs> um, oh, if you have any dilemmas or topics you want us to talk about, email Let Me Land Pod at gmail dot com. Um, who who wants to plug themselves? What have we got? What have we got? I got me go first. This. I mean, everyone knows Gabby. Gabby's cooking the shows. Everyone hears. I feel like I'm on this like every single week. You know me, guys. You already know me. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, get your lashes done. <laughs> Got the champion boy. Go on, Teach. Um, you can follow me on SoundCloud. Watch your name, the champion boy. Instagram. Oh my God, I've shush. DJT <laughs> underscore UK. That is DJTEEJ underscore U. And Snap is Teach underscore eight. I think that's everything. Um, why eight? Catherine? Um, because my birthday is January the eighth. Oh my god! Can why we, champion? Boy? Can we do this after? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I'll answer it now. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> um, follow my page, page Paul of Cake underscore on Instagram. You fucking red vibes. We saying red velvet, they are. Yeah, you know. Come vibe. on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know how bad the feedback is going to be on this. I'm just going to say it one more time. So we've got Hall of Cake underscore. We've got Coco Lasils. We've got DJ Teej underscore UK. I want to say that Teej is it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Arsenal um, lost by the way. Just want to confirm. <laughs> I mean, when this comes out, uh, everyone's gonna know anyway. So it um, who else do I need to plug? Oh, make sure you follow Prattler. No one here does that, but like, just as my friends think, so make sure you follow that. Um, I'm gonna join them to follow you on anything. Are oh, you still incognito? Yeah. I'm still incognito, man. Incognito. I only came out to fight people on Twitter. Oh, okay, cool. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what business have you got. No, she's I just have inco- a business. She's just incognito in life. Oh. She just came back to fight people on Twitter. What kind of like shout out to them and like thank you and that. I don't know my team. Teach at this point, do what you want. Go on, chat them out. Yeah. Okay, like, shout out. What about me? I just want to wait, man. Let me do it first, man. I just want to shout out the man them. Obviously, STB, you don't know. OV, SB, Tobes, Andre, <laughs> Naira. Yeah, me. Everyone just go follow them up. We've got stuff coming. Yeah. I've got stuff coming in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I don't know. Can you That's give it. us a preview of what's coming or? Um, <laughs> just follow me in my socials and you'll find out, innit? Yeah. Right. Um, who can I can I plug? If you want juice now, I'm doing too much now. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want juice, obviously a couple of the men and did that. Yeah, punch, JJ punch. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm done. Uh, yeah. You know the vibes. Everyone say bye. You know the vibes. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Okay.